Christos Porzingis gives us his latest update on where he stands with his rehab and lets us know how difficult it's been to watch his teammates play well without him. This is the Gray Area right here on Kevin Gray Sports. My name is Kevin Gray. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Kevin Gray Sports. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for all things Kevin Gray Sports here on YouTube. And you can catch me on your home of the Dallas Cowboys and Texas Rangers 105.3 The Fan. Chris Osborzingas spoke with the media for the first time in three weeks and provided us an update on where he stands with his rehab as he tries to get back before the end of the regular season for a Mavericks team that is 40-28 and 28 on the year, a season-high 12 games above 500, and has found themselves 31-14 and 14 in their last 45 games. Chris Porzingis, of course, has only played in 40 games this year where he's averaging 20.2 points per game, 9.1 rebounds per game, but has a career-high true shooting percentage of 58%. So when he's been healthy and available for the Mavericks, he's been pretty good for the most part, including his best month of March when he had 20.3 points per game, 48% from the field, shooting nearly 40% from the three-point line while having over 10 rebounds per game, including a 25-point game that he had against the Denver Nuggets. And if the season were to end today... The Dallas Mavericks, who currently hold the fifth seed right now, would be playing the, those said Denver Nuggets in that game, if you remember. Porzingis with 10 of 15 from the field and 5 of 7 from downtown. So obviously this team cannot go where it wants to go unless it has obviously a healthy Luka Doncic and also a healthy Kristaps Porzingis, which has been a far cry from what we've seen from him this year. But when he's been on the floor and available, he adds a completely different dimension to this team. A guy who can be a 20-10 and 10 guy every single night and can provide you a couple of blocks. Granted, when he's moving well and moving his feet and knees defensively in the best way possible. This is a Mavericks team that finds themselves getting off to good starts in the first quarter, 25-0 this season when they do so. They're going to need Kristaps Porzingis especially if they want to make the kind of run that they need to. I asked Christos Porzingis, has it been difficult for him to watch his teammates continue to play well without him while the perception starting to formulate that the Mavericks may be a better team without him now? Here is what Christos Porzingis had to say. Hey, KP, good to see you. Obviously, this team has been playing well uh, over the last couple of weeks. For you, how difficult has it been on the sideline watching and kind of the perception of, well, this team is playing well without you. How have you handled that? Or if that's something that's you even you've even considered. Uh, yeah, it's been, it's hard. It's hard. It's hard to be out watching the games without being able to be out there and, and play the game. I love, and, but it is what it is. I, you know, I have to be healthy when I'm out there. I cannot be, you know, not at a hundred percent when I'm out there. So uh, just was, was putting in a lot of work which is not fun, you know, always when you're by yourself and just doing treatment and, and, and working out and lifting. It's, it's, it's never that, as fun as being with the team, doing all the activities with the team. So, uh, but that's when I, you know, I have to lock in and be a soldier and do my work and to make sure I can be, you know, as, as soon as possible practicing like today with the guys and stuff. So um, it's, it's, it's a good feeling to get back closer to, uh, to being able to play. And, um, and yeah, it's it's good the team's playing well. You know that's 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 always good, and um, you know I, I look forward to adding more to what we're doing right now. So Christos Porzingis is saying, "Look, it is what it is. I'm trying to get back and make sure that I'm healthy before the regular season ends. But more importantly, doing what I can to put my team in the best position possible, so that when I do come back, I'm ready to go. That's really all you can ask for a guy who's trying to still put himself." in the conversation as a dynamic duo alongside Luka Doncic when he is on the court and healthy. If you remember, the best game that he had this year, he dropped 36 points on 8 of 13 from downtown against the New Orleans Pelicans. Rick Carlisle saying that he hopes to have Porzingis back when they return home to take on the New Orleans Pelicans after they visit the Memphis Grizzlies. And obviously there's been a lot of concern about the long-term future and perception that Christos Porzingis simply cannot remain healthy to be the true full unicorn that we've seen from him and the potential to sustain that throughout his career. Here is his answer to that particular question about whether or not he's concerned that he will never fulfill the long-term potential that he has because of the injuries that he continues to suffer in his career. 
Here's what Porzingis had to say with respect to that answer. No, I'm not. Um, and I shouldn't be, you know, I, I, whenever I play, I have to be, I have to be confident in, in, in my abilities and in my physical abilities. Um, the ACL, I, I've said this before, the ACL was a contact injury. This was a contact injury. I, I cannot worry too much about what can happen on the court. You know, obviously I do move. I'm more mobile for, for my height and, um, and, you know, we, we, I don't know if there has been players like that, you know, in the past and stuff. So um, maybe maybe from that aspect, I'm, I'm a little bit different. Um, but I, I truly believe with, with a good offseason, um, working on my uh, my movements and, and things like that, you know, I'll, I'll be I'll be healthy and I'll be um, I'll be able to, you know, stay healthy for a long time, which which is something I expect from myself. So Porzingis saying, look, I'm not concerned about that. I can't be concerned about what happens to me on the court. All I can do is to be ready, prepared, and able to play when I'm capable of doing so. And that's going to be important. Yes, are the Mavericks 6-1 and one without him in their last seven games? Yes. Has Tim Hardaway, Dwight Powell, Dorian Finney-Smith, and others stepped up in the absence of Christos Porzingis? Yeah, they have. But for the Mavericks to get to where they ultimately believe they want to go and to take that next step as a team, they're going to need both Luka Doncic and Kristaps Porzingis to be on the floor together and be in the best position to succeed night in and night out. Now, will there be questions about, obviously, whether or not Kristaps Porzingis will play the four or the five position once he returns, given how well Dwight Powell has been playing as of late? That remains to be seen. Obviously, Kristaps Porzingis prefers playing at the five with his ability to stretch the floor from the three-point line and his ability to knock down 35-foot three-pointers while still at seven-foot three, being able to put the ball on the deck. A unique basketball player with a skill set that not in most folks have around the league at his size. But at the same time, the Mavericks need him. And most folks who watch this team know when they are at their apex, Christos Porzingis is there also. And his ability to be a shot maker from the three-point line, to be a good post defender when he's healthy and moving the way that he's capable of because we've seen him be a rim protector, a shot blocker, and a shot alterer at the rim when he's at his best. Those things are going to be needed as you try to move forward in the playoffs, especially if you're looking at a first-round matchup against the Denver Nuggets. His ability to take away Nikola Jokic away from the basket and to be able to make it difficult for him to defend him on the perimeter is going to be extremely important if they match up against the Nuggets in the playoffs. Even if they take on the Clippers, you saw how good Kristaps Porzingis was in the bubble in the playoffs before ultimately suffering that meniscus tear against the Los Angeles Clippers. The ability to put up 30 and 10 games against the Clippers is not something that's out of the question because he did it against them in the bubble. So whether you're taking on the Clippers, whether you're taking on the Nuggets, you're going to be better if Kristaps Porzingis is on the floor. He will always be maligned for his injury history and the concerns, whether it be him looking forward to the offseason, as he said during his media availability, because of the lack of practice time, the inability to have the kind of rest that he wanted to have prior to the season starting because he had his meniscus surgery a little bit later on in the offseason, thinking that the season was going to start in March. So he tried to rush back to find himself getting back onto the floor as quickly as possible to help this team because you can say what you want about Porzingis. One thing I know about him in covering this team is that he wants to play, and it frustrates the heck out of him when he can't play. He wants to be on the floor, and unfortunately the perception of his injury history clouds what kind of competitor that he is. He may get down with his business a little bit differently. He may not be the best of friends with Luka Doncic off the court, but what he is when he's on the floor is a truly unique basketball player who can do a lot of different things, but folks like yourself, I'm sure, just say, hey, Kevin, I just want to see him healthy, and I want to see him healthy consistently over a long period of time to give me a better idea of what this Mavericks team will look like going forward. Trust me, I get it, and I completely understand it. And if you're a Mavericks fan, you want to see this team at full health and full strength by the time you get to the end of the regular season. So what that means is it appears – that by him continuing to progress and getting better, as Rick Carlisle mentioned during his media availability, 
Christos Porzingis could be on track to return against the New Orleans Pelicans, which is important to get him some rhythm prior to the end of the regular season so that when they do enter the playoffs, because remember, by locking in a top six seed, not only do you avoid the play-in tournament, but you also get a week off prior to the NBA playoffs starting. So being able to get some rhythm while then being able to get some rest as you enter into the playoffs, it's going to be important for Przingis to make sure that he is at his optimum performance by the time he gets to the start of the playoffs. That should be good news for folks who watch and cover this team because a healthy Christos Porzingis makes a dangerous Mavericks team, which is even more important given how well others have been playing around him. So just imagine the fact that Dwight Powell, Dorian Finney-Smith, Tim Hardaway Jr., Josh Green starting to emerge in his rotational minutes. Other guys have been getting better since Christos Porzingis has been out. Now, integrating him back into what has been a really nice rhythm for this team is going to be interesting to watch as we go forward here. But at the same time, you give the Mavericks the idea that once Porzingis does return, integrating him should not be that difficult because you should be able to integrate a guy who can shoot the ball from 35 feet at 7 foot 3 and stretch the floor beyond the three-point line to make matchups difficult, being one of the biggest mismatches in all the NBA when he is healthy and playing at his full capability. That's just a fact. We'll see going forward. But for Chris House Porzingis, while it has been a difficult year for him, as he has said, it is still a year that has an opportunity for him to make an impact on a Mavericks team that's been making an impact on the NBA over its last 45 games at 31 and 14. We'll see if Christos Porzingis is able to make his return to full unicorn status ahead of the end of the regular season, but more importantly, to help this Mavericks team to try and make a deep run in the NBA playoffs. You can find me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Kevin Gray Sports. Be sure to hit that subscribe button for all things Kevin Gray Sports here on YouTube. Also hit that notifications button so you know when the videos drop. This has been another episode of of the gray area. Catch me on Twitter, Facebook, and Instagram at Kevin Gray Sports. We'll talk to you later. Peace.